What did the FBI uncovered? Well, at this stage, they don't have a whole lot of details, but they did send a letter to Congress on Friday afternoon. So any confidence that Hillary Clinton had before about polls and how well she was doing perhaps was a little shattered when that letter came out, suggesting that now the FBI are revisiting that investigation into her emails after, as you mentioned, John, this unrelated investigation into Anthony Weiner's emails, and they've seized a number of his electronic devices. Now, he's a former congressman who was being investigated related to a sexting scandal with an underaged female. And so the reason why there's a connection here, well, he was married to Huma Abedin, a top Clinton aide. They're very close with one another, and of course, she would have used these electronic devices, in particular a laptop. And so there are emails that have been uncovered by FBI on this particular laptop that may be linked to Clinton's private server. So once again, this issue that Clinton and her campaign certainly hoped was wrapped up back in July is being revisited and uh, causing a little bit of chaos in her campaign strategy as well. Take a listen to what she had to say as she was trying to urge all of the information to come out, but also urging voters to head to the polls as soon as possible. Take a listen. You know, I think people a long time ago made up their minds about uh, the emails. I think that's factored in to uh, what people think, and uh, now they're choosing a president. So I would urge everybody to get out and vote early in all the states that uh, have early voting. And, you know, this email issue has been so difficult for Clinton because she's been really fighting against this idea that she's not trustworthy, uh, that she's been dishonest, and all of these sort of accusations. So to have it come back now, 11, 10 days before the election, uh, not a great, um, you know, set of series of events to really happen for the Clinton campaign. Yeah, some would say, incredibly, she still polls as less trustworthy than Donald Trump. Uh, Arthur, we're going to get you to draw on your Washington experience here and look at this in terms of how damaging could this be for her campaign and maybe how helpful for the Republicans and Donald Trump. Well, of course, for Clinton's campaign, this is the worst news that you could have 10 days before the election, really. You don't want to be revisiting something that you thought you had already put to bed months before. You're really working towards building momentum, getting voters to not think about that stuff and to think that you are the best candidate. On the flip side, for the Trump campaign, well, this is the best gift that they could possibly get. 10 days before, they've got attention, negative attention, back on the opponent when they thought that they were slipping in terms of support. So take a listen to the advantage that, of course, Donald Trump took of this situation when he was speaking in New Hampshire yesterday. Hillary Clinton's corruption is on a scale we have never seen before. We must not let her take her criminal scheme into the Oval Office. So again, an absolute gift for Republicans, for Donald Trump, heading into, again, the less than two weeks now before that election, and uh, something that Clinton will have to try to mop up again, although we don't really know what's in those emails and if they could be significant. John. And we may not know until the election is all over. But exactly. The, the, uh, the message is still out there. Okay, thanks, Arthi. Stay with CBC News Network.